This is very frustrating. Okay, so now you're loading your Windows 11 on your brand new computer. And you get this. Where do you want to install Windows? Down at the bottom it says, we couldn't find any drives to get a storage driver. Please load drivers. So there's no hard drive being recognized to install Windows 11. Good day YouTube. My name is Captain Darren. My amateur radio call sign is N4VFR. Stay tuned on this video. I'm going to show you how to resolve this issue. Where do you want to install Windows where there are no drives are being detected? All right, welcome to my desktop. So I got the USB bootable Windows 11 right here. We're going to use this thumb drive okay I got it installed into my computer we're gonna load a driver on that that's gonna allow us to see the SSD hard drive that's installed in my PC let me show you that it's letter E drive so this is the boot drive. It's labeled ESD-USB. Okay, that's a default label from Windows. So let's go find that driver. Open up your favorite web browser. We're gonna go to the Intel website, intel.com, Intel website. This is the manufacturer of my chip the i7 let's go to the top right where it says search we're going to search for intel rapid there it is intel rapid storage technology driver so i have the intel i7 it's the 12th generation so that's what i'm looking for so the first one that populated was Intel Rapid Storage Technology User Interface and Driver. And the one that I'm going to use is this one because this is my 12th generation i7 platform. So click on that. There's two files here. The first one is a setup RST. Uh, I'm not going to use that. They're both for Windows 11 and also Windows 10. I'm going to click on the second one, the F6VMDFLPY-X64.zip. Okay, it's downloaded. It's already complete. All right, let's close this out. Close out my web browser and let's go open up the file manager under the download section you will see the zip file just do a right mouse click and we want to extract all of that to the same directory under the downloads directory okay let's close the first X and then we're gonna copy this one this is the unzip version do a right mouse click and we're going to copy that and save that copy onto the the boot drive of the Windows 11 thumb drive and it is saved do a right mouse click on the thumb drive and let's properly eject it Now, let's take this thumb drive over to the PC and install those drivers. I'm installing the thumb drive, powering on my computer. 
let it do its S post test, or actually post test. Okay, looks like it passed. There's my ASUS Tough Gaming splash window. I'm just waiting to see if it passed completely and it loads to the Windows 11 boot drive, my thumb drive. And it looked like it did. There it is. Okay, this is proper. This is what we want. We're going to install a clean version of Windows 11. Okay, while that's still inserted, uh, language is English, time currency format is English, and keyboard is US. Click Next. Install now. This is the Activate Windows right there. I don't have a product key. We're going to skip that. So I'm going to click on I don't have a product key. Click on Windows 11 Pro. That's what I want to load. And here's the terms and agreement for Microsoft. Click the box to accept. Next. We want to custom install Windows only because we don't have an upgrade. We don't have a, an existing Windows installed. So click on custom. Here is the problem. Where do you want to install Windows? And it's not populated. Nothing. So this is where we install the driver. Down here at the bottom it says we couldn't find any drives. To get a storage driver, click load driver. So we're going to click on load driver and we're going to click on browse. We're going to click on the ESD-USB, the C drive, and we're going to find that subdirectory that we just copied and it's right here. Double click on the first subdirectory and then let's see which one is it. Okay, double click on the other subdirectory called WMD and this looks like the final subdirectory, the one with the X64 and click OK. These are your drivers. The first one is OK, and the second one is a Manage Control. We're going to click on the first one, and let's just to uh, click Next. We're looking for a SSD. It's my Samsung 2 terabyte drive. right there. This is what we want. Where do you want to install Windows? And where my cursor is, my mouse cursor, drive one partition, the Samsung 2 terabyte. That's where I want to install it. So the driver for the hard drive worked. All right. Very good. Click on that and click Next. Uh, they're saying here the partition on the disk selected for installation are not in the recommended order. All right. And, and do you want to proceed with the installation? Yes. Click on the OK. There you go, guys. It is installing Windows. 
Windows 11 on my Asus X690 motherboard and that's the Samsung 2 terabyte drive you see there dead center my USB thumb drive that's the bootable drive along with the drivers to search for that hard drive. So that's it. Just follow the installation process and it's going to work. I guarantee it. Well, I hope you also were able to find your hard drive on your new computer. Hey guys, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please consider to subscribe. Click on that like button and subscribe with that bell that notification bell so you get uh, notice uh, that uh, I post new videos and sometimes come live streaming on for you. My name is Captain Darren. My amateur radio call sign is N4VFR. Until next video, 73s. See you next time.